Welcome to Wednesday's West. For the Southern 500, we headed down to Darlington Raceway, an oval track with a very unique shape. Turns one and two have a completely different configuration than three and four, making it very challenging for us to set up these cars to be able to handle effectively in both ends of the track that's considered by many to be too tough to tame. If you notice how the outside walls of the racetrack started out white before the race started, and then by the end they were littered with black tire marks, you can see how this track allegedly earned her nickname as the Lady in Black. With the new ride height rule being one of the biggest changes we've had to make in the 2014 NASCAR season and one of the most talked about topics, Jay Dennis wrote us in and he wanted us to show him the difference between the current ride height and the ride heights of the past. Well Jay, to answer your question, I'm going to take you over to Chris Hall, front carrier on the Aaron's Dream Machine and front end mechanic. Chris, explain this ride height stuff to Jay. In 2013, NASCAR had a minimum ride height of 6 and 8 on the frame rails which when the cars were on the racetrack, the splitter was actually uh, high off the ground and teams had to work on the suspension in order for the splitter to be on the ground. 2014, throw all that out the window. All the teams now have no ride height rules, so as soon as they come off out of the garage onto the racetrack, the splitters are already on the ground to achieve maximum uh, aerodynamics. In order to successfully change tires during a pit stop, we need at least a half inch of clearance between the tire and the ground surface. To achieve this, we use these highly specialized race jacks that have nine and a quarter inches of lift per pump. Now to achieve that same amount of lift with the standard floor jack like you see here, we'd need at least three pumps. So we're able to change these tires as fast as we do by having this highly specialized equipment. In order to make sure that the tires get the right clearance before the race, we use these jacks and we test it with one pump prior to technical inspection before the race. Our top question of the week comes from Brian Bolin. Brian was curious just how much faster professional tire changer is than some guy off the street. Well, Brian, we're about to find out. As we head into the first of the two off weeks this season, MWR has a question for you. With no Sprint Cup racing this weekend, just what the heck are you going to do with yourselves? Let us know on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to use the hashtag AskMWR.